welcome back once again. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to start our first match of the evening. Our eternal hell on cash and cobblestone continues. We're going to mix it up a little bit tonight. <laughs> Just keeping it to cash. No cobblestone, thankfully, at the What's very the second least. second map? Uh, second map, I think, for this one is Overpass. Okay. And for cool. our Echo, the one, it should be Mirage, if I remember reading it correctly. Oh, we don't see much train. Yeah, it's not a very common map. I think it's only... Good map. I think the only team really plays like Optic. And that probably isn't even that case anymore because of mm -hmm. recent events. Yeah, so, I mean, with these two teams, I think it's going to be... I actually think it's going to be pretty close. Luminosity yeah. has been continually improving. Um, you know, it, it's pretty crazy, like, their run, right? They're, they're actually going to compete for playoffs this season. Like, it's not out of the question that they make playoffs. The tough thing for them is that they can't beat Immortals, it seems like, and they can't beat SK, right? Like, they're like the third little brother, right, from <laughs> yeah, Brazil. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like an uphill battle when it comes to that. So that's like four losses on the season. They've already got through those four losses, and they're still 5-5. Five and five. If they could win these two maps, it's actually going to be putting them in a pretty good position. Um, but Complexity, I don't think they're as bad as, like, their record indicates. I know they're 1-7, but they played against some really tough teams. They played against NRG, Liquid, and SK. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, right, is, is we look at it and looking at Complexity in the last season, they were like really like bottom of the barrel team. Like everybody well, expected them to get, to get knocked out. But Yeah, well, last season, I, I don't think the record was terrible. They didn't have to play in any Yeah, no, no, they, they managed to still end yeah. up above relegation. It was they actually kind of a, performed above expectations. Yeah, was, I think it was around 500 is yeah. what they ended up on the season, right? Mm -hmm. Almost an even record. But but that's what I'm saying. Like, they played against three potential play Well, two that are almost certainly going to get in the playoffs with Liquid and SK. And then NRG is like battling for playoffs, and they took a map off NRG. Now, the, the real heart breaking loss that they had is they, they dropped both maps to Renegades. Um, so that really hurt them a lot. But having said that, I don't think their record is quite as bad as indicated. Like, they, they still played SK pretty decent. They're going to have a lot of teams that they're going to be able to compete very well with. You know, they're going to be playing against a lot of the, you know, when you get those matches out of the way, right? Yeah, yeah. Then, hey, you're going to have some easier matches coming up, They're still going to play, like, right? you know, like Rush, their strength Winter Fox, Yeah, their strength of teams. schedule has gone down <laughs> considerably yeah. since they've gotten those matches out of the way. Um, so I think this is going to be a good game. I, I really do. I think it's going to be pretty close. Yeah, Go well, down on the wire. We'll have to see how they perform. And again, guys, we are just waiting for, I believe, some players to ready up there. We're, resol we're resolving some uh, some lag issues with the players and whatnot. And as soon as we get those fixed, we should be able to jump directly into the game. But as you can see, it's going to be on cash. Second map will go towards Overpass, which is another one we started to see play a little bit more commonly here in the Pro League. And again, in case you guys haven't been tuning in, it's been it's been just basically this revolving door of seeing cash and cobblestone. It's basically the only two maps played out with Overpass and maybe a mirage thrown in there every once in a while. All the other maps have virtually been ignored. I think we saw, uh, I think we saw Inferno only played once, and that was with a Misfits game. And beyond that, we really haven't seen any of the other maps brought in that much. Yeah, and, and like I said, I said, you know, the last time we broadcasted, I brought this up. I think when you're in North American teams, especially if you want to compete internationally, like if you're Optic, Liquid, Cloud Nine, especially, I think it's a lot better for you to actually focus on these maps like uh, Inferno and nuke you know like the newer maps that come out and get a head start once you get a head start and you're like kind of a front runner there and you know how to beat these teams it's a lot easier then to adapt slightly and keep like your play at a top level on that map than it is to just like start from the bottom a month late when like all these teams have already been playing it for a month um so i would like to see that a lot more i think i think you gotta it's been like that for a while where a new map comes out or a you know reiteration of a map comes out like inferno and nuke and people just don't play it and they don't practice it when it's way better to just get on it go play it all the time a ton of time even if you're like esea pugging a ton yeah. it helps a lot it really does um especially custom maps if any custom map comes out you just grind it out you play it more than everybody else a lot of time you're just gonna be better than, than people it's just how it works yeah so let's talk a little bit more about some of the individuals specifically you know on complexity here you say this is gonna be a close match i think i think most people would actually probably disagree with that and see you know lg has a pretty stern advantage here so where do you see complexity coming in and really being able to challenge lg as we are actually getting started now with the pistol round i, th I think they'll probably split the series i think it'll be like a, a one-to-one -one. i think both games are i think these teams are like i know lg has one more uh, um, than them, but but yeah. again, like the strength of schedule complexity so far has been really difficult, um, and, and I think it's going to be pretty close. The problem with complexity is that they just don't really have like a firm grasp of how to play like four v fours and things like that. They don't know, you know, who should be doing that. But Desi is an incredible pistol player, so we'll see him at B. He takes shots, he's running away. As soon as I say that, gets taken out quickly. 
Android, though, is going to be able to challenge. He's looking for more, gets himself a second, going for a third, but won't be able to pick it up. And now the guys from LG have really good control over the site. PKL even watching out already for a flank back in the vents. Surreal, the only one that's actually been able to get himself back in a position towards heaven right now to peek into the site. But the guys on LG on platform are really not giving him a whole lot to look at currently. They're playing back super passively. Well, those two teammates wait for the smoke in tree room to fade away to give them a route back in. Now it's gone away, though. And again, as you can see, Surreal does have the kits. They have a little bit of extra time to play with. Showtime gets a great angle, though, to knock out Surreal from heaven. SHZ picks up one more. And unfortunately for Def, he's just going to be completely overwhelmed, which does give LG control of the pistol to start off on cash. Well played on the post plant. Desi with a big mistake, just gets caught by the flash, running away, gooshed, and adds absolutely nothing there uh, for his team. Not sure why Android actually went up to deep bar. I know he got two kills. I'm surprised he didn't stay headshot. Um, but, I mean, he did get two kills. Surreal, though, I think when he went heaven, he actually, like, didn't really fight too much, it looked like. I think he should have just committed, because well, Android was still alive while he was heaven, kind of just went for it. I think that's probably the best way to win the round instead of trying to do, like, a, a 3v3 retake post point like that, in my opinion. I think he could have gotten a kill and maybe ran away and made it 2v3. But now we see Cole. They're going to buy here. Surreal's just going to be on the P250, so I'm assuming he's probably going to op on the fourth round. He is their opper. That's another thing uh, about this team. I actually think Depp is their best opper. Um, he's more aggressive. I think he's a little bit of uh, just a better player with the offense surreal, yet surreal wields it, you know, 90% of the time. So PKL already racking up two frags here at the beginning of this this round as complexity. They try to get a bit more aggressive into Squeaky. Daff and Uber both have gone down, and I'm pretty sure now they're just going to fall through with the direct play. PKL getting himself another one now, knocking out Surreal. This time it's actually on the site. Desi will try to challenge with the 5-7, getting one. A little bit of damage on the PKL, but unfortunately it will be the end of him pretty quickly after he does pick up that kill. And now for Android, there's not a whole lot that he can do, and I think he was just spotted as well. So PKL, will he be able to get the ace here? Yes, he will. He's going to follow through with it. And he will get himself a nice 5 frag to start off right at the beginning of the match. Great job by him. Yeah, I actually like playing with uh, Pickle and Destiny both in uh, rank S a lot. They're, they're just so sneaky somehow. We saw the clip of him versus SK when he walks out the door and kills two people in the back. Yeah. I swear, whenever I play with him in rank S, he's just like, wait for me, wait for me, well, guys. Even, even that first kill me. there where he's just hiding behind Squeaky, the yeah. first guy didn't even realize that he'd gotten that far yeah. up already. No, he's really sneaky. Like On T-side, he's just always behind everybody, just telling everybody to wait, and then he just kills people in the back. It makes it so easy. But now complexity on a full save. Um, so we'll see Yell really loves these ecos. Runs up highway very quickly. Gets uh, shot down to about 40 HP. But they do see quite a few players at A, so it's probably just going to move right into a B split. SHZ, nice kill there, and now complexity. It shouldn't, shouldn't be really challenging this round. Should be pretty easy for LG to win this. SHZ is another name. Do we just say SHZ? I played I think them a lot, I think too. it's just SHZ. Yeah, but like, what does it stand for? What does it know. mean in Portuguese? I don't know. I think it's just a three-letter combo. I mean, what does, what like, what does, like, NAF mean? Or at least it could pronounce it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what NAF means. I can't remember. I actually played on a team with NAF. I can't remember. Well, we can see a little bit of resistance from complexity, but it's probably, again, guys, not really going to amount to much. They haven't even gotten into the vents control yet, so the round's still definitely going to be LG's. We'll be heading up to 3-0. and SHZ has himself a nice double kill on this one, and the rest are kind of just waiting on the outside of checkers here. Where SHZ, hey, there he is again. Gets a nice timing on the peak. Moves in, shuts down Def, and they get their third round to start off along with a boatload of cash due to how cleanly they were able to push their way through these first couple rounds here, too. Yeah, so Complexity has the op, but they have no Molotovs, three smokes, and a few flashbangs, so very light on utility. Um, we'll see where they, they set up Surreal. I think that's going to be an important part of this game, but they have five players towards B right now as LG. They just throw a Z smoke to kind of fake it out, and now it's just going to be a quick B play. Destiny is going to be leading the charge here very, very quickly. And again, very assertively, too. Not hesitating at all to try and just go directly through that smoke despite the risks associated with it. They didn't really have a flashbang to support him at all. Now the tease, we can see it firebombing the site. They actually haven't flushed Destiny out, but they did hit him with a flashbang. So with that, he's going to move. But Surreal just got a double. SHZ and Destiny both go down. Uber trying to get himself in there, but unfortunately over commits just a tad. Android, though, now on the flight, finding one. Also, blinded out by a flashbang, leading to his own death, putting us into a 2v2 with LG having control of 
this site. The remaining two from the CT side stuck in tree room right now, but it's not great control for LG. So in theory, some of the guys from Complexity may be able to move in and punish them before they can successfully cross over and get this bomb onto the ground. Just like that. Def sneaking in from heaven, shuts down Showtime when he tries to push up towards Generator, and now it's all on PKL to 1v2. Time is still good, though. A minute left to play with, but slow peeking like that directly in a Surreal's crosser is not going to work. So it is Complexity that claim control the first gun round. Yeah, and they got it down to a 2v2. He actually could have gotten that kill into despawn as we see a nice double by Surreal. And that's kind of what I wanted to do, wanted him to do on that pistol round, just kind of go out and try to get a kill, try to make a 2v3 in that situation. That's how he does a good job of going out and being aggressive, getting those two kills and staying alive. Um, LG lost the round in a pretty good way, though. You know, they... they I mean, Kabuxi has a better buy this round than last round just because they have more nades, even though they do have that pump. Um, but they still got three kills. Now they're opting for pretty much the same play, just 5 beat. This time it starts off a lot more successfully. Android getting knocked out here. Again, Smokes and Smokes are still in the way on the actual side entry, which is probably where they're... Oh, no, they still go past that. Desi's still sitting in the one-and-done corner, though. Showtime kind of went to check it, but I don't think he fully realized that there was a player sitting up here. There's the first kill from Desi. Transfers the spray into a second one. He knows he's a third in the backside over there by Sunru, but that just serves as a distraction. SHG is able to move out from Checkers to take him down again. Trade damage being done, though, but Uber connecting that nade onto SHG is once again going to limit the potential for LG to follow through on this. They kind of lost sight control now. That's all they have is checkers here. PKL, though, waiting on the backside, does pick up death, even again. But right now, it's really hesitant. Both sides not really wanting to actually peek out into the site itself. As we can see, both Yell and PKL just trying to slowly investigate and make sure that no one from Complexity snuck back in when they were worried about watching their flank just about 5 to 10 seconds ago here. Surreal, in the meantime, also waiting for it, and he catches another player just crouch peeking around an easy angle for him. There's one more to go in the hands of PKL. Well, he should know he's there. Pickle killed Depp, yeah. so he should not be looking towards site at all. Um, luckily, Pickle's allowed to kind of just have this freedom of movement, picks up a Molotov in a flash, and he could actually utilize this to a round win. And the Molly's going to go up towards heaven, so he just gets snuck out there. Flashing the cross so he can go and move in safely. Nice headshot going for the second one as well, and he almost gets it, but is not going to be able to follow through. Uber saves the day for complexity, and they chain together a second. Yeah, so the thing about LG Strat there that is kind of hurting them a little bit is look at how much utility they use, right? They smoke off Checkers entrance, they smoke off Swan, and they smoke off um, the other side of Checkers as well. And then they go into B and kind of try to bypass Checkers. But what ends up happening both those rounds is that they took the, they, they essentially got the kills, but because it took them a while to not only get in the site, but then by the time they got in the site, they didn't have the utility to really leverage that into like a plant. Spawn, they couldn't resmoke spawn so that they could cross site and plant. They All their utility was gone at the start of the round. And so that was why they were struggling. They made it very manageable. They got the numbers advantage essentially, because anytime you're 3v3 like that, you you know, and you know like the site's clear and there's nobody in site to be, it's great. But they didn't have the utility to smoke off spawn or anything like that. Now they're gonna buy again, and this is like their last chance to really break their money. This is their third chance now. Kapuxi has won twice where they would have had to save if they lose the round after. And this is a very important round. Whoever wins this round is going to break the other person's money. They're going to take a little bit of an early lead in this game. You can see that there's a lot more passive style being employed here by LG on this round. Not really being the ones to make a move early on this time, leading over towards B. A lot less smokes in their way, granted, but that also serves as a disadvantage. There's not going to be nearly as much confusion about what's actually happening in the site. So just holding back and playing into a default, which I'm sure will change in a few moments here. Smoke starting the lineup again. They yell at the very least. He's trying to sell this as what they've done in the past two rounds, but complexity aren't biting on that. They've actually read this extremely well, and they basically have four guys ready to defend here on A. One's focusing on mid, three more sitting on the site. And basically, LG have no clean way to get out here. And again, utility's been used, but there's been no follow. They've got two more smokes to try and recover up these crosses. And we can see one of them just being used there over here towards Forklift. But now Destiny fits really close to these guys. And Def spots the play. It's already three free kills at the moment for Complexity with no trades. Yell is going to sneak in through mid here and surprise against Surreal. But that's it. All he has is a P250 and 10 seconds on the clock. And there's no way he's going to be able to do anything about this. This will be a third for Complexity. Yeah, and that was just a classic case of of a counter call where you just say, hey, you know what, they they went B twice in a row and they've gotten, you know, they've lost both of the rounds. I simply think they're just not going to go B again. And it's just kind of a read like that. And Immortals is probably the team that does that the most, especially when we watch them on Cobble. Whenever a team goes B and they 
lose the round to Immortals, Immortals just puts like three people A, and just has one person drop, one person B. And we saw Complexity do a very similar thing, right? They really overplayed A there. They won, they won it B twice in a row. Now look at their money. They got four great rifles, full utility, and op. And if they could win this round clean, you know, which they should be able to, given Luminosity's limited buy, just pistols, no armor or anything like that, all of a sudden they're going to have, you know, a lot of money and going to be able to put together really good buys. We can see LG again just getting ready to try and flush their way out through Spooky. Actually, you know, they get out relatively clean with the exception of having to push that Molotov. But now the problem is getting past the red box over to the site where the guys from Cole are holding on and they don't have any utility. So they get themselves out, but they don't really get much further, unfortunately. And it's a pretty clean sweep from Complexity that time. Yeah, very, very nice round by them. Uh, perfectly placed Molotov at the door. Allowed one player to get out, but he was, you know, just disjointed the attack completely. One player comes out. Three players are stuck in the door, and then there's a guy in main. Uh, makes for a really easy round win. And, and like I said, their economy is a lot better now. I'm not sure why they use the smoke up top, but no smoke highway. Um, so I think that was a little bit of a blunder, maybe some miscommunication. Uh, now, looks like OG, more of a default type setup. Four AKs and a Tech 9 on Yell. He wasn't really able to fully buy since he did, you know, only have that P2. I believe he saved that P250, right? Yeah, he did. Okay. So, anyways. Um, Looks like it's just more of a default kind of counter mauling the boost. They're, they're just waiting, seeing if they can see anything. Um, Yelp probably has to be a little bit worried about lockers. But Complexity not doing anything too crazy. One player sandbags, player around vents and checkers, player highway, and then Uber at A kind of just spotting for info and a little bit of an island um, over at Quad. Yeah, for Showtime, though, again, just tossing in the flashbang, trying to sell some be pressure in that direction, but really not going to be successful. They still have, again, a fairly even commitment across the board from complexity, though. So it is going to take some time to rotate in either site if they do try to go for another all-in, which has been the go-to for the most part from LG, even when starting out in the defaults here. It's been very, very passive style of CS, so you haven't really seen uh, you haven't really seen a whole lot of intel gathering going on here. Showtime, though, finding that first kill, but it is traded out by Android over in the vents there. PKL, though, finding other entry from, from, from Squeaky. So now it's all going to fall to Desi, who's holding the platform, loses half of his HP and Getting the first kill, more to go. The flashman actually does connect a little bit onto those T's, but thankfully he's got his teammate to bail him out. So SHZ and Pickle work together to knock out Desi, and this falls now into a 2v3 retake with Surreal and Android trying to do the job. All they have is the truck angle. There's no flank through A main or anything like that. Smoke's covering off the entire site. It's not perfect, obviously, but as we can see now, they do try to move back in. Flashbangs from the T's are going to let them push back out. Android need to save your butt there, but no, Cyril can handle himself. Bit of confusion, of course, but it's even things out. Problem is, they're running out of time. They need to get the hell back on this side, otherwise that bomb's just going to blow up. And well, there's SHZ picking out from the left side. Destroy Cyril, and it's up to Android now to clutch it 1v2. Moves in, finds the first one, but he doesn't even get that kill. SHZ finds the final frag, and it's LG striking back to tie us once again. Yeah, I think Yell definitely shouldn't have pushed through that smoke, but that A take, I think I think the LG guy should have won that round even easier. Um, Desi was in a position that's a very poor position around the A site. He's actually just kind of posted up near the white box. Um, and, and you saw how many flashes LG had after he got that kill, like four or five flashes came towards the site. Had, I, I think it was Pickle, I'm not sure not challenge him there and waited for a flash, it would have been an even easier round. Uh, but at the end of the day, Kapuxi loses that. Depp gonna get aggro and main, walking through the smoke. Barely gets out of there alive. I mean, those bullets were so close to hitting him. Um, so he wisely backs up, says, hey, I'm not gonna risk this. You know, and, and it's smart because they do have two players in A main, so that's kind of a hard counter to what, it, what a Depp wanted to do. Showtime also waiting in a very, very tight angle. If anyone from the CT side would peek out the right there, but he's gonna miss his opportunity when Android does finally go for a cross over onto the very right side of the T checkers entry. Smoke to cover off his retreat. Showtime will bait into that though. And again, obviously AK is the game. That's not a huge deal, but for the rest of LG, it's another essentially default lineup with all their players now, time meaning lower, kind of grouping up to go in for some mid pressure here. But we actually haven't seen a whole lot of splits. Like I said before, it's been a lot of just these all in attempts towards either site. Maybe they would send one or two guys to vents or something like that previously, but for the most part, it has been straightforward. And it looks like it may be again, although they are going to use events a lot more heavily this time. Three players in through the vents, two more on the outside. They do have two CTs on the platform to worry about. They're not giving themselves a whole lot of room to work with. Thankfully, they bought enough time for Surreal to rotate in from heaven. He grabs one before going down and the damage has been done it's up to pkl to clutch 1v4 he's found out the positions of so many of these players but as you can see there's still so much utility on that ct side and boxing out pkl and destroying will be of no issue at all yeah and because they played site side they weren't able to get any kills on checkers or anything like that they hold strong at site getting three kills between android and desi i believe it was 
and they called out the the rotate so early that Surreal was able to get in a really good position. You know, they have a rotator there, and, and it's a very tough round to win when you're LG and you use all your utility to hold off the rotate. But they didn't have a molly default. They didn't have a molly triple or anything like that. So it was just essentially like very countered. Uh, their play was, you know, by the uh, by the complexity guys just playing sight and not getting mollied out or anything. Yeah, and LG will once again be broken here. So for the most part, even PKL's not even going to have any buy at all. He's just going to be working with a Glock. Three P250s beyond that, though, and a single Deagle sitting on Showtime. And it does look like another all-in attempt from LG to try and just rush out through Squeaky. So hopefully they can get a plant at the very least. Uber, though, trying to hold out, gets one, but is overwhelmed in the second. Yell also holding over here to prevent them from pushing back in on Highway Seed. He can dink a few of them. He's getting close to it, but at the moment, just not finding the shot that he needs. Surreal, meanwhile, picks off another player, and it is PKL. One of the big fraggers so far for this team. They continue to fall one by one. They did succeed in getting the plant, which with this kind of a buy is a victory in itself. Now anything else they can get from this point forward just going to be an additive. But Showtime will be the only one that gets it as Desi and Surreal trade at the last two frags. And it's a sixth for complexity going up onto the board. Yeah, and after that pistol round loss, I mean, complexity is, you know, putting together a really nice CT side. Um, We'll see if they can keep it up. But LG, they kind of, you know, won around, lost around, broke their money a little bit. But that bomb plant really helps in this upcoming round. That's going to allow them to, to buy up with AK, get more utility, get the op onto Yell, and be a lot more comfortable. Yell just, just having no body armor. So um, any type of aim punch or anything is really going to affect him a lot. Uh, but LG, just none of their attacks really working, right? But they're, they're trying to hit... They, they haven't really done any type of like mid control, you know, put highway pressure. Oh. Terrible smoke by complexity. Yeah, and that's just going to leave Surreal's backside open. That was open. Uber. Mm -hmm. that leaves Surreal open for the taking there, and already LG off to a swinging start here. Speaking of Uber, he is going to have to try to. Like smoke. <laughs> so that one misses, and they even hit another op connection here, too. Uber trying to make up. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uber snuck in somehow, despite the flashbang being a bit odd. But he grabs two kills. He'll even get himself a third against SHZ. And somehow this works out for complexity, despite the terrible start. It's now 1v4 with Showtime trying to clutch. And even as he goes in towards A main here, Uber will be a little bit surprised, but he chains together another kill and gets himself four at the end of the round. How did that Be happen? Beautiful Counter-Strike, Blue. <laughs> wow. I mean, uh, he completely full blinds himself. Just <laughs> lucky enough for him, Destiny doesn't realize he ran right past him. Um, so I don't know. All right, so that'll break LG again. And he made up for the, the smoke that caused Surreal was, to die. Was that his smoke? Because he threw another one. No, 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 that was his teammate. I okay. looked and he didn't have a smoke. It was his teammate that was, I think it was Depth that threw that smoke. But then he still threw the second one, which was also a little bit off the mark, and yeah. still somehow worked out when yeah, he was Uber walked right through. Uber threw the first one, because he didn't have a smoke. Well, now they're going to try to push in again, and it's another attempt to overwhelm the A bomb site, mainly through A main this time, but it's being handled quite well. Speaking of Yelp, he's going to pick up one and two frags onto Uber and Surreal, and now he's got himself a 1v3. As all of his teammates have gone dead to the ground, and we can see him kind of falling back. He's got a Tech 9 upgrade to you there, but he's really focused on knocking out Def right here. He knows he's got him in the back of quads somewhere. Just a matter of getting him out in the open. But nope, Def will still get the better of him. And Complexity continue to drudge forward here. Now up to eight. Yeah, and Tactical Pause coming out. I'm assuming it's going to be from Luminosity. But they're looking very flat here. And um, not showing, like, too much tactical prowess, I don't think. I mean, they... And remember, they had their chances. They lost those three rounds in a row that they were bought up after the pistol. Um, that really could have changed this game and made it, you know, if they won any of those rounds, this score very well could have been flipped. You know, we'd be seeing like eight luminosity, four complexity. Um, but, you know, they had their chances. And, and ever since those first few rounds happened where they lost those 3v3s and the 2v2s, you know, it's just been complexity all day. Not, the rounds haven't even been too close. Um, and I think luminosity, what they need to do is they need to stop going for these just direct fights at A or B and start taking a little bit more mid control, making complexity think. Because that's what complexity, like their faults are like the mid round rotations, you know, the uh, how to play 4v4 CS. What are you gonna do when they smoke off top highway in Z and you have no vision? That's when the mistakes start pouring in from complexity. And LG is not really utilizing that. They're making it very easy, very basic for complexity. They're just saying, hey, we're gonna like go towards B. We're gonna hit the site with five people, smoke off checkers. You know, we'll let the rotate all come, etc. And the same thing at A, right? Just direct hits. Yeah, there's not really attempts to get mid control or even utilize events and whatnot properly. 
Lima when they do, it's still these, these all-in pushes. And now Complexity are going to get a little bit aggressive here, too. Surreal going out through Team Ain over towards the B-bomb site. Finds early pick on a Showtime. Dev trying to do something here, too, although his spray is not really where he was looking for it. He panicked a bit and dropped down early. Uh, survives the encounter with 16 HP, and he does get a little bit of damage, I think, on the Destiny or Yell, so they've been brought down a bit as well. Uh, but this is going to send LG reeling back into those B-halls in an attempt to push the site. Interesting note, by the way, as assumably one would have thought that that was an LG pause, but actually that was a pause from Complexity hmm. uh, that they took back there, based on what I was told. So, just for those of you who are wondering whose pause that actually was. But we can see from LG now that they are going to go back into the halls. Problem is, they don't have anything to smoke off the site, so Surreal's just got himself a shooting gallery. He's already added two more to the kill counter, up to three on the round so far. Both Yell and SHZ, now they're going to try and utilize flashbangs and smokes or whatever. But again, after, they wait like five seconds after that one was deployed, and they jump right out once more into the barrel of the op, where Surreal is just going to pick up a fourth, and now he's going hunting for the ace as SHZ retreats back over to the mid garage. He's looking for a headshot. He knows he's got Desi there somewhere. At the very least gets that kill. However, here comes Surreal. Go for it, man. You've got it. But actually, I think the waiting might actually work out for him. Flashbang into his face. Tries the timing shot. That's not going to play out. And now he's trying to kind of circumnavigate back in. Thought he was going to go for the vents for a moment, but no. Continuing forward in the mid. He didn't actually see Surreal shoulder peek a minute ago, but I don't think... Or excuse me, Def shoulder peek him a minute ago, but Def as well didn't actually spot him. So somehow he's managed to sneak his way all the way over to the A-bomb site. He will have to deal with Def over at the truck position though, but he knows it. And when he takes the dolt, Def finally shuts it down. So a beautiful 4K from Surreal, and he's kind of gifted it as LG just walk right into him. Yeah, definitely not expecting the off there at B. And uh, the continuous repeaks by Surreal aren't punished. Yell wasn't really in a position, I guess, to, to kill him after that first death happens um, and, and kind of punish that repeak. So he, he comes up big, gets that nice 4K. They've run that setup continuously, though. Him offing kind of back checkers, Android around the vents. Uh, it seems like that's one of their go to plays. They will be probably deploying something very similar to that this time. As Actually, no, they put Desi and Android in the site, both playing to checkers, too. And the T-entryway has been mollied off, so they're not going to be able to get a good spot in terms of the depth of this push that's coming in. Thankfully, there's two players around mid, so it's going to be quick rotates once again if they do need the support. Kind of a weird setup for the CTs, though, as they are behind smokes. The good news is the T's really won't be able to see them behind it either. I don't but know why they're doing that, though. That's why? Good. I don't know why you would flash to that smoke you're not even in any position to get a kill the smoke is basically underneath the full entirety of the vents it just doesn't make any sense but now it has well it has allowed lg to get up onto the site they may be able to get a plant at the very least the retake is going to be incredibly simplistic as right from the get-go of things they are completely surrounded and there you go not even a plant and they only lose desi and with this kind of a winning streak the money is really not an issue here for complexity they're gonna have no problem there's rebuying for desi in the next round yeah the proper way to win that round in my opinion, is to take the site, get the bomb down, and actually send someone to flank vents. And when he flanks vents, a lot of the time you could, you know, catch those guys in the checkers, you know, area. Um, but, you know, inst instead they just, I don't know, they don't even really get bomb down. They had bomb in the site. It was just so much confusion. Yeah, they basically had the, the site at least initially they had it free. free. Yeah, because because the guys, both the guys in checkers were smoked out and they weren't really going to try. It was anything. a very poor setup by complexity. I mean, if if they like if Yell times that through the smoke as the smoke is dissipating and someone peeks through the vents, I mean they they honestly probably win that round, no joke. Um, but it was just bad teamwork all, all around that round and bad communication. And for LG now on the final round of the half, we can see one for one trades to start it off. They do try to go a bit aggressively out here towards A again, but it does not work out. They lose Destiny. Uber is traded in the meantime, but now it's Desi. Leading the charge here is he holds a very aggressive angle outside of team A and B. I don't think he spotted Showtime, but the reverse is true as well. And now Yell is waltzing his way through with the op, and he's going to walk right into Surreal as he peeks out from Z. 4v3 advantage now going by the way of Complexity once more. They are trying to, you know, use at least a little bit more trickery this time by at least holding Pickle in A main for a bit longer. He's now just going to rotate back in, and once more, they'll deploy some utility, which they're going to try to use to get back in, but perfect timing on the Molotov. It holds Showtime back off. They're just gonna also gonna molly checkers just to be safe. The one in main has run away now, but oh, actually they take down Android on the initial peak, so Showtime strikes there, but now Surreal is here, and the Molotov is late, so he's able to get one for free. Desi picks up an additional kill before going down to SHZ, but now he's alone in a 1v2. Prioritizing the plant right here just so he can start the timer, but that's a free ticket for Cole to get right back in. Molotov to the back, and he backs right into it here. Gets the first one, but it's an easy secondary peak from Surreal to close out the round and allow for complexity to take complete control. They're gonna push forward, and they will go to 11 to 4. So ladies and gentlemen, a surprising start to the half here, very much in the favor of complexity with the guys from LG looking extremely sloppy on their T side. We'll see if they can mop it back up in a minute when we come back from the break. Stick with us here at the ESL Pro League.
ESL Pro League is brought to you in part by Logitech G, Pay Safeguard, Mountain Dew League, and ESEA. City and D getting themselves off to a swinging start here in our first match of the night at the ESL Pro League. An 11 to 4 lead against Luminosity Gaming, the new Brazilian roster that they've brought up from the Premier Division into the Pro League to the start of this season. And they will be playing and trying to contest for a playoff spot, at which point, up to, up to now at least, they've been doing a pretty good job at. But here against Complexity, they've been showing some really serious issues on their T side to start off in the first half. Yeah, uh, definitely struggling here, you know, early on and not looking too great, you know, just, I mean, they tried that direct B hit where they smoke off checkers. I believe it was three times that half, lost all three rounds. It was right, it was towards the beginning. They were trying to consistently Yeah, they do did that. it twice in a row and then they did it at the end there. Lost all three rounds doing that. And again, just very direct hits, no type of, uh, you know, misdirection type plays, no type of map control towards middle, and then you, like, kind of work it and make them think and then do things. Just very direct hits and didn't work out f well for them at all. And I, I, again, I mean, you know, knowing how the complexity players are and how they play and whatnot, I really think to, to beat complexity and to exploit their weaknesses – you really want to make them think. You really want to ma make them make decisions. When you make them make decisions in especially environments where it's like 4v4s and things like that, you can almost always leverage that into a round win. Um, but instead, they just went for these direct hits and complexity was very, very good at just holding the site strong. You had Uber at A playing very well. Surreal really stepped up that half. I think he was he was the, the key guy for complexity, rotating over to B, always making an impact and staying alive, having that 4K near the end, saving that round uh surreal played very very well and they lost the pistol and won every round after that except for one well we are back into the map now ladies and gentlemen with complexity starting off on the t side uh, retake opener from lg here as they are barely even going to try and contest it but shz has a small angle with which to see through any times the shots there to be able to take down surreal early on still does not prevent them from getting access to the site where they are going to plant the bomb and the remaining four from complexity are just going to split up two in a main two playing over here mainly around site and quad but now Retake force from LG is going to come swinging in. Possibly on a flank, but nope, that'll get canceled. They do go back outside into mid to come back up through highway instead of going all the way through around towards A main. Android sitting in quad. He's going to have to get ready for this one. Def getting off the challenge there. Picks up one. Falling back to the fourth of his teammate. Also challenging things from the right side there too. But unfortunately, when Def had to fall back, he lost control of the situation. They're moving back in. Uber trying to help out a little bit, but Android losing all control of things. And all they have left sitting in the back side is Uber. Thankfully for him, time is low, but he has no position to play with. Gets one. They are defusing in the back corner. And with that defuse, they will succeed in closing out the round. LG take the pistol and they don't have an avenue back into the game. Yeah, and Complexity had a chance to win that and I think that, believe it or not, like that one flashbang that Desi threw and then peeked from A main was, in my opinion, like the, the critical mistake that they made when it came to losing that round. I think you have that flashbang and you could, you, you could leverage that flashbang into a round win if you just time it properly. Instead, he throws it, uh, just bounces it off, does like 20 damage to somebody and gets a little bit of info, that's it. Had, had he saved that and kind of maybe flashed it towards in front of quad or something like that when they were pushing site, maybe, you know, just any type of better utilization to, in order to get kills when they were committing, I think you could definitely win the round. Instead, it was poorly utilized and in that type of situation with a main smoke 5v4, you know, they know exactly where your pistons are and they have USPs and you only have Glocks, like your heavy favorites to lose that round. Well, PKL trying to challenge the rush from Complexity in the middle this time, but it's two swing kills out of nowhere from Complexity as they move up towards Z and take control. One is inside, another one 
Happening a little bit further up towards A there. They still have Showtime a little bit further back towards Z. So he's holding partial control there to prevent Complexity from just go doing that. I think what they were going to try and do is possibly go for that swing through and just wrap that into B to kind of surprise there. But now, since they do have Z control and this kind of transitions into highway control as well, the remaining four, the remaining other four players are going to group up and try to just overwhelm through Squeaky. All of them working their way up to the highway, or up to the uh, the hallway, I should say. Uh, now, and then waiting, the only player on that A site is going to be SHZ. I think because of that push towards Z, they assumed it was going to go in towards B, which could prove to be a fatal mistake, but SHZ, we've seen him have some good stuff before. Picks up one. One. There's three more to go directly after that, and he sees he just destroys all of them. So LG directly afterwards will see Showtime going back in his E to retake control there, and that will be them picking up their second on this half. Interesting decision to go four door there with like nobody aiming or anything like that. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea if that was the right decision or not. Actually, I mean that definitely could have went differently. Um, Destiny kind of having a bit of a rough one though, two and thirteen. Still feeling the effects of his debate with Thorin, I think. <laughs> Maybe just, he lost uh, sleep over it. Just didn't go well for either party in that one. <laughs> but for uh, but for LG here now, and good control, but they are going to have to go against full gun power from Complexity. All five AKs being bought up with armor as well. Limited utility, as you would generally expect with uh, without having, with all, while only having the one plant to work with there, but still, it's enough to get the AKs up. And, you know, one or two smokes to use to attempt to do some kind of a take. And we can see slow pushes to try and get control. So is gonna be challenged in a moment here though. Gets one with the AK before being traded up by PKL. If he wants to now, Desi can swing the door open. He's got a player stuck at forklift. It is PKL though, and we know how dangerous he can be. So they end up just smoking out the door. Yes, he tries for a response spray. He does get actually a really decent amount of damage on the yell. Brings him down to 60 HP. They're still trying to console, control the situation though. Molly going on a highway over there. While the remaining members of Complexity kind of give up on this A site push. And are now going to wrap over here through the B halls instead. Also, Vent's control being gained. But over there on the backside, it is Destiny that will try to swing out, finding one. And that's it for the control over here towards Checker. Showtime even following through with a second kill after he takes down Android just seconds before it. So Desi looking at a 1v4, trying to clutch out here, which is essentially going to be all but impossible as the flashbang connects onto him in the corner. And it's an easy final frag for Destiny to close out the round. Great teamwork by LG there. Uh, nice job by... I believe it was Destiny in the back checker. Mistaken. No smoke spawns, so Showtime just, just kind of teeing off from there. And uh, it's usually a pretty easy kill, especially when you're spawn side and they wide swing like really close like that. Uh, especially if you're actually kind of moving to the right. So picks up that easy kill onto Uber and now Complexity back on a save. We saw the last save they did, you know, they got into a 3v5 for SSG just kind of like dominated all four of them. And now Luminosity doesn't want it to make any, like, give Complexity any room to do anything. Pushes a main, gets one kill, does a lot of damage to Uber, uh, makes it out of there safely. Surreal also just waiting for the challenge to come back out from Yell in the corner. He actually does miss the first and now second shots, which is going to bring him down to 30 HP. But it serves to bait PKL out to the, or excuse me, it serves to bait Desi out of the open where PKL is going to be able to punish that one. SHZ even picking up another one here, so it is looking like Walt Complexity kind of got some steam going at the beginning, pushing the guys from LG further back on the site. They're still able to hold pretty comfortably. SHZ and Pickle work together to claim the final two kills. Yeah, I, I, Yell's actually been having a rough game as, as well. We saw him miss a couple shots there. Um, I think a lot of the kills that he has had presented to him and the opportunity for kills could have been like big impact frags. He hasn't been able to capitalize off of them. Um, but Luminosity putting together a nice CT side so far. I mean, 11 to 8, it was looking pretty disastrous. You know, after that first half, you figure T side of cash is going to be very, very favored towards complexity. Um, but LG, you know, they're, they're playing very, very well this half. They, they just set up in a 1 2 2 right now. So it's going to be an A retake. And anytime you're doing A retake, you really you want to save as many Molotovs as you can if you're OG. Like, you do not want to have any wasteful utility, any wasteful Molotovs or anything like that. Because just each Molotov you have could be like a kill, is how you have to look at it. Like a free kill almost. Well, we can see Complexity going to be going over boost here to try to play for some action in mid. PKL will be defending it from the bottom side of the counter boost spot. And SHZ also... Looking to try and draw some attention from back over there. There's actually a lot of defensive mid. PKL just barely spots the head of Def as he moves over, but it is enough to sink the kill. So taking him down. Complexity already at four. And again, once more, really struggling to find an area where they can make decent enough an impact to get yeah, into the site. That's kind of my problem with how Complexity wants to win rounds on T-side a lot of the time. It's, it's literally, that's like their way of winning rounds. It's just 
oh, debt, do whatever you want, play some super overly aggressive position. And, like, it might work sometimes against, like, lesser teams like Rush or something like that, but it almost never works against well-coordinated teams. Like, it's just not not the best way to win rounds in series. Andrew are going to go for a very similar push to Death to Dun just moments before. While well, Desi will finally be able to trade out a single kill over on that B bomb site, it's not still going to lead to a whole lot as they still have a player on the platform and B to deal with. His teammate with the up is going to be rooming up with him in a moment as Surreal works his way back down to checkers here too. They've only got 15 seconds. They don't have any utility left to cover off that cross, so it's an easy shot for Yell. And Surreal, still armed with an op, is going to decide, yeah, this is not worth it. But he'll fall back to save the gun instead. And he just barely escapes that as well. I think he's good on timing for this one. SHZ may be able to peek him in time, but nicely timed on the shot. He's able to still save his own life, and he carries the op into the next round. Yeah, top fragging for his team right now. Um, at, what is it, 18 and 13. And those are good kills because LG's economy isn't great. Um, so what was that, two kills or three yeah. kills that he got? Yeah, two kills at the end. So that's a lot of money. That's like 8,000 or so probably, you know, between the two. Maybe a little bit more if they had nades. Well, for the rest of complexity here now, again, spreading out into that same default we've already been seeing in a few rounds. Although, oh, the flashbang that came out actually messed up their run boost. They I think that's a trouble. blessing in disguise, though, because they're, they're going to hear that run boost coming. What I think teams should do is, if you ever want to utilize that run boost, I actually think you should just run on the red as, as like, the a site player whenever you, like, pre-smoke a main or anything like that, just at the start of the round, at least to mask it. And also, to serve as double duty, right? A lot of the time, they're going to think somebody's boost, and when they come out A, they're going to try to kill the boost guy, and then all of a sudden, he's not going to be there. And it just kind of masks the sound if you do it, like, quite often, right? Um, Surreal gets out on boost all by himself, kind of takes mid control, but they do have a player spotting at highway, and now Complexity just coming out of A. Molotov coming down at A main to kind of disjoint this attack, and we'll see how the rotate comes. Uh, Showtime's rotating right away, and they just cannot give Surreal any kills here if they want to, you know. All top at perfect timing as it destroys the complexity hit when they wanted to go for it. Thankfully, though, for them, they still have 50 seconds on the clock, but here comes another one. So they've got to wait even longer here now. And essentially, everyone from Luminosity is here. They've got Destiny pushed super far outside of the B bomb site, so they're going to know for sure it's not coming there anytime soon. He's even feeling good to start to fall back a little bit here now, so they're ready for it. And at the moment, complexity, well, it's all up to you. Unfortunately, you've built your own grave if it doesn't go very well. Yell, SHZ, all finding kills here. A single trade from Desi, but that may be the only one, as it's all down to some real now and he won't get any further yell finalizes the round ends up with a 3k and it's lg one round away from tying things up very impressive patience by og there nobody gave uh a surreal a pick that was complexity's way of winning that round they wanted to let surreal kind of kind of just have room to work with maybe somebody flashes sight and then they peek um and then they fall back into a really nice setup. You know, Yell was kind of watching fence, chilling, and then SHZ is hiding fork. As soon as Yell shoots, SHZ swings, and he's able to, you know, essentially clear anybody else coming fork, anybody A main, and whatnot. And, and at the end of the day, what did they have? Four people there. They really over-rotated. They read exactly what they were doing. They didn't panic and start over-rotating back towards B or anything like that. And it was very, very nicely played by LG. Yeah, and so this will take us into a pause from complexity as there are some very serious issues that they're needing to work out on. Money's in a really kind of tough spot here as well as they're at a point where they certainly can try and force with the way that the saves have been working out, but it's going to lead to probably quite a few Tech-9 investments instead of AKs or downgrades to Galil or something like that. I have seen a few, one or two of their players buying up into Tech-9s, but that still could just be them going for a half-buy, which is probably going to be the more appropriate one uh, for this situation. Just let LG tie it up and then try to retake the lead on the next gun round where you are going to have a full with probably op and everything yeah i'm assuming they'll pistol armor here it looks like that that is what they are gonna do um they have a decent amount of nades you know smoke double flash and a molly on who is that blue Dep. uh i oh, believe yeah, I so forgot. yeah i forgot you have worse eyesight than me right <laughs> i don't know dude normally my eyesight's really good really last time i had it checked that was like three or four years ago right it was like 2020. Hmm. it's just Not super anymore. far away too dude. much gaming <laughs> yeah dude you're probably gaming on like a 60 hertz monitor too. No, I got 140 hertz. <laughs> well, getting back into it, as you can see, it is the, uh, it has been the pistol armor investment that we were describing just moments ago, and it's still 
a full buy from LG, them showing really no signs of economical struggle anytime soon here. But very fast from Complexity. They remember they've just been doing these straightforward default setups for basically the entire half leading up to this point. Now they all go together, but the problem is, is they get pelted with nades right from the get-go of the round here. Molly's going in, that one over the top of the window completely whiffs, but they oh my goodness, Showtime and Destiny just burning the entire complexity Fire roster everywhere. alive. And it's all down to Surreal within just a few seconds. And with that, we will be tied, as someone expected here. Now, though, after that half bite, it does save up enough money for Complexity to go into it. No op to be seen, however. Money was still a little bit limited in that regard. So it is just going to be five AKs. Yeah, it's a bit of a rank S strat there, but if you know how to hold against this, it's, it's generally pretty easy because as soon as you kind of recognize what's happening, their nades go off if you counter nade properly. Um, you could definitely hold it pretty easily. Sometimes it can get counter as Dep just runs out middle right away, takes mid control. They have Dep near the highway box, Android underneath the vents. OG needs to react to this very quickly and get set up in their position. If they don't, it's going to give a free frag for Dep. He was there at such a quick pace. Um, you really don't expect that to happen. There is going to be a repeat coming out from Toxic, though, and that's where SHD brings himself back and swings around the 180 degrees to find a second one before finally going down the Surreal. And now it's Complexity trying to actually get access to the site. As we can see, Yell taking a bit of damage there, too. Down at 17, the smoke. I don't know if that covers off the far right, but Uber's going to push in. He should be able to see the streaks. But now is actually going to be a little bit of a ninja here, sneaking his way around. He even has a teammate over at the forklift to help him out. He's retreated back inside, and he's trying to spray through the wall itself, but rather unsuccessfully. Thankfully, Destiny picking up these kills. Yell does end up going down to Surreal from the other side. He actually gets him through the wall, it seems. And now Surreal is just going to follow through, finalizing that last kill. And it's Complexity that barely hold on to their lead after LG ran the comeback there. Yeah, very scrimmy round by Complexity, but they're in a terrible position right now. LG has a lot of money. They only won the round with one alive. I'm not even sure if they picked up the off of in there, if Surreal was able to get in the door and pick that up. Um, Let's see. Nope, doesn't look like he did. So look at their buy. Look at OG's buy. OG's buy is so much better. It's so much more superior. And if Complexity lose this, they're going to be on a double eco territory. And that was, I think, seven rounds straight from LG before they finally lost that wow. one there. So they were looking really secure. And it, possibly more of that coming off of the hat. But I think it was still Complexity controlling things at the very end of it. However, at the beginning of this round, we can see Def once again, extremely aggressive, very forward with things, just knocking out PKL. And a beautiful spray from Android, too. Doesn't realize it yet because of the smoke, but he just brought Yell down to 10 HP. So they're in good straights once again here to not only control mid, but possibly execute down to A if they're going to follow through with it. When all else fails, scrim. That's what's happening right now. And they are moving forward with it. Def even getting aggressive into Z to possibly take down Showtime if he doesn't expect it. Good read from Showtime, however. Spots him in the corner, and they did successfully get a player up onto the Shroud Boost spot this time, but he only manages to pick up one kill before being traded by Android. Yell very low, playing behind the truck position. It's not going to last very long. Showtime is there to counter trade, and it's left into a 2v2, so there's still a good chance for LG to get back in here and retake the site. Even got a Molotov and a Smoke with which to work with. Surreal playing to a very forward position, though, as we can see him hiding out in the little cubby below the Shroud Boost position, and they may not necessarily expect that as head is going to be a very restrictive spot. He's got the one kill, but now he's kind of stuck here as he needs to flashbang, come back out, he takes the challenge, and he wins it again. So a double kill from Surreal closes it out, and it's Complexity now back on the winning train, pushing forward up to 13. Yeah, if I'm LG, I'm definitely buying here, and this is a little like the start of last half. LG had a few rounds. They had three rounds where they were going to be able to break Complexity's money, and they weren't able to do it. Um, now this is their third chance again to, to really break their money. Well, second chance since Complexity won the round, but still third chance because uh, it was, you know, 11-11. They would have put him on a Tech-9 armor buy. Uh, so LG, like, this is their last chance, though. If they lose this, they're going to have to save or maybe pistol half armor if they have enough money. That's going to, that should put Complexity on game point. Yeah, so for Complexity themselves pushing in and probably just going to go directly out on the A. Unfortunately for LG, they don't have a lot of players, so there's more rotating up through the CT highway right now here, but SHZ gets himself a double. Beautiful way to start it, even gets a third before going down to Uber. The rushed attempt from Complexity with no utility does not work out very well at all. And now they're looking at a 2v4. Pretty much everybody already knocking at the gate, too. If they can get the plant, it's great for them. It's probably one of the few things that they are going to be able to secure at this point due to the site control, but immediately all four from LG. Coming right up through highway in the truck position. Uber tries to get extremely aggressive. He loses his teammate. Showtime kills Destiny there as well, but in the confusion. But Yell is still going to be able to knock out Uber, and we'll see a 12th up on the board for LG. I mean, the way Complexity is playing, I'm sorry. It's just it's such an easy thing to stop. It's just all they did the past two rounds is they went out middle quick, and then they just faked the middle and went out A together. Like, it's, it's just so simple. It's literally like that's... <laughs> 
It's literally how Stewie calls in rank S whenever he plays and like wants to win. And it's like they're like, oh, it works in rank S. Stewie calls it, it's a good idea. But like in 5v5 CS, there's a reason most people don't play this way too much, you know? And it's because like complexity just doesn't have the, the follow through with it, right? Against like, you know, people who know how to stop it. It's actually like a really easy thing to stop. Well, we've got Yell again, countering out the fast mid aggression this time. There is potentially going to be more, and PKL is here to challenge that on the left side. Even Yell helping out with it. This is going to be a shutdown from the guys on LG. And also, I mean, the the timing was so off. Like they throw the mid smokes, they're walking a main. They're just strolling around. It's like just so obvious what's happening. They have like 10 to 15 seconds to react that, hey, they're probably coming out A main. There's no more noise in middle or anything like that. Nobody's challenging highway. Nobody's up close V Z. Nobody's near the vents or anything, right? It's just it's just like textbook on, on how to play against that and very, very telegraphed. So now this is take us into what may be the last buy round from complexity here, as they are sitting against a pretty mean economy from LG if they don't manage to start bringing down their money again right here. And in their own respects, again, buying into this one with all AKs and the AWP even on a Surreal, but utility is what is going to be extremely limited. And again, back into the default spread here too. And I think I think every single time they opened up with a default, they ended up losing the round. So not going to be very hopeful. Yeah, I think only the only rounds they've really won are when they just went out mid quick and took control and kind of leveraged that, that um, you know, into a win, just the space that they, they they make for themselves. Yeah, they had the two round streak there where it ended up working and then immediately LG started countering it out and now we're back into the same tight situation here. Desi back out through mid. Mid press is actually pretty light from LG right now. They don't have anyone Z or anything. They're just playing three on the A bomb side instead, which where they're going to get aggressive now. But it does go right into Surreal, so he's able to pick up one. PKL hoping for a trade, but is not going to be able to find it. What he did though, what he did do though, is he forced them back outside of Amy, but they're just going to go back in and challenge him in a second since they got the highway control. PKL up front and center though, but he only gets one, and that leaves it all down onto Yell, who's going to get super aggressive there, blocking off Amy. He's given the time to scope back in on the Android. They are going to go through the Molotov in Amy though, so Desi taking him down, but now Showtime has arrived on the truck. He takes down Desi. And it's up to death to 1v2 this one. And what's even worse is he is going to have to deal with a flank from Destiny. She did not expect it. He'll be a dead man pretty quickly. He did have to go back in, obviously, to retrieve the bomb here. And he's watching for that flank. As both are going to whirl back in. Showtime gave up on all of his own aggression from the truck position. So I think he got a bit suspicious because of that. But he has to watch everything as he goes back in. And he doesn't have a whole lot of time to plant the, onto the site with. Thankfully for him, LGR giving him the space he needs. So he gets the bomb down. And now he just has to play this one out. Molotov to utilize here as well. We haven't seen him showing any signs of using that. And the guys from LG are about to approach the main point where they can just push back in and work together to eliminate him as he is 100% focused on them coming back in through usual routes, not being flanked out from main, not even watching it. But all of a sudden, he does spin back around to watch towards the plant spot. And they're going in kind of one by one here. Destiny, but oh, the timing. He looks away at the wrong one, but he's able to spin back around and pick up one more. Thankfully, Showtime keeps himself together. It does execute as the second player, and it allows for LG to push up the 14. Yeah, and like you said, anytime they set up in a default and they've lost the round, and I think that kind of shows why. I mean, it's 4v5. Surreal does a great job getting that a main ki kill when they push and stopping that counter aggression. And even in a 4v5, the coordination is just so poor on complexity that like Yell is able to get these two kills. He's able to stay alive long enough for his teammates to rotate and you know kill somebody in the back because there's nobody watching like the, the, the white truck or anything like that. Like the coordination just isn't there for them to do splits and whatnot. Um, now let's see if they hear this and maybe that could be a read that SHZ is here. Not sure if Cyril heard it or not. I'm assuming he did and, and if they did hear him, but he's on a nice little position. So this is gonna change it up, right? Cause they're not gonna check this necessarily when they come out of A main. They're gonna check on top of the box. They are stacking up for an all in push though. And again, flashbangs and whatnot starting over three out. SHGs at the door opened up below him. So we'll keep tabs on that. Desi though, taking him out right from the start. So they did realize it and even gets the second kill as well onto Yell. But PKL on the highway is trading just as aggressively. He's brought down two more players in Def and Uber. And he's also lit up both Android and Surreal. Whereas the two rotating in from the B side haven't taken any damage. Showtime and Destiny still at 100 HP currently. And if LG takes this properly, they should be able to win. I mean, there's no nades on Kabuxi besides an AT on Desi. So remember, they have those two Molotovs. They just used one onto Fork. That should net them a kill. It does. Now the next one should come Quad. That should net them a kill. Let's see. And it does. Now it's all up to Desi sitting alone over here instead of Squeaky. He does surprise there. He's got another player at low HP, but Showtime through the Squeaky door itself will pick up the final kill. And LG will now get up to map point. See, that's, that's what is impressive about LG, right? They're a young team. 
their their first season in professional. They're coming from Premier, where they didn't even have a great season, and all of a sudden, like they come in here and they show like a veteran type of like uh, composure in rounds like these. In the retake rounds, they waited the smokes out. They played it properly. They waited till people were in position where they could actually capitalize off their Molotovs. They didn't waste a nade. They used the Molotov on Fork. It makes them get a kill, right? They used the Molotov on Quad. It gets a kill. They played it very, very well. Now Complexity probably going to go back to some type of scrimmy playstyle. I mean, literally the scrimmy playstyle you could possibly do. They just run out of a smoke with one flash, and it's 4v5. Surreal already gone down here, but the rest in mid having control to try and work with. Now they need to transition this into a site, which is where the difficulties are going to rise up since, again, utility is very limited. Desi's currently carrying all of it playing from mid there, so he's going to have to try and deploy this from highway and block off the LG guys. He's not going to be given a whole lot of options besides trying to smoke off one of the cross angles here, which he does do. But now moving forward, Again, the players are still kind of split up. They have no clue where they are going to go. Desi moving in to kind of investigate. As he didn't even smoke off the cross up front. He just smokes off the uh, the cross leading up towards highway here. Gives him a small way to kind of sneak back in. If he peeks too heavily, though, then SHZ is going to see. He has to second guess on it. But actually, no, Desi gets the better of it. However, there's going to be PKL waiting back over there behind the forklift. And now as they try to execute it to be, there are still two players here waiting. Destiny immediately eliminates all of the checkers pressure. Shows it actually with a weird miss there. Almost looks like the shot connects. Second miss as well. That lets Uber go back in. Destiny's still kind of stuck in the corner. Still a man advantage for LG to work with. However, even with that loss, they will be able to sneak up here and get the plat for themselves and Android patiently just waiting for pressure to come out from either the event slash checkers area or even through the team main whereas his teammate sits patiently up on the site and is playing this one for the long game nice first connection looks for the second and Android kinds that kill so now it's on to yell 1v2 he knows where his opponent is but uber too quick on the repeak and it keeps complexity in the match as they go up to 14 and we'll go to round number 30 to settle things yeah and I mean I hate to say it but like the, the way complexity won that round was essentially just off Missed shots and mistakes by OG, uh, but it puts them in a really good position to force overtime. Just umps on the OG, uh, two five sevens, limited nades. Um, so we'll see what they do. Like this is where OG should get scrimmy, right? And if complexity is smart, they kind of slow it down here and they understand the money situation that OG's in, and you know they play against it. But if they just run into something where they they aren't expecting this type of an eco, and it doesn't look like they are, this could be very dangerous for Cole. Destiny getting himself one of the counter boosts. It's still going to be a counter boost versus the normal boost. As Android's also here. Nades and whatnot coming over. Def also be grouping up to it. And oh, Android actually spots Destiny first. So taking him down. Now PKL hiding in the smoke that is blocking off the entry doorway here. He may try to get a bit aggressive and try to open up a very early flank, but he doesn't have to be cautious. As very often you'll have one of the T's set back here to position to watch out for that. They know that the T's got out and got a lot of this control made, but they're actually not even really utilizing it, which is going to draw a lot of unnecessary attention over towards that highway position. PKL should be able to spot this, though, and say, guys, it's all clear. You don't really have to worry about it. Android, though, keeping tabs on PKL. He's going to be able to survive the peak from that CT, keeping himself alive and now putting this into a 5v3, where in a moment they should be able to pretty easily go out and try to overwhelm things. Showtime also pushed in, though, and Android makes a good decision not to peak that, as that would have been certain death against the 5-7. Showtime still spotting him, not taking the execution, as he's not turned around to peak for him yet. He wants the intel about what's in A main and the possibility to multi-frag. Running up, gets the first and the second one, and now the rest are stuck back inside. One more kill for the CTs. Yell trying to battle close up on the squeaky door. It doesn't work for now. Showtime has got the AK, and he's going to close out with a double kill. Ends up with a massive 4K on the round, and comes out big to clutch it for LG. 16-14 is going to be the final scoreline, and they will take the first map in the last round. Wow. <laughs> what a way to end it. <laughs> what a way to end it. Just wow. I mean, complexity is in great position. It's 3v5. They're just trying to do too much. Android should literally just sit there and, and just post on the flank. I don't know why he would go back in a main like that. I think it was Pickle in middle. Yeah. Told you how sneaky the guy is. <laughs> He's so sneaky. <laughs> I swear. He's like the sneakiest player. And and it works perfectly. Ends up, you know, just shooting two people in the back, just joining their take. Um just what a way to end that end that game. Yeah. So a big clutch at the end coming out from Showtime there with the 4K to just destroy them. And with that, they do take the map instead of sending us to overtime. Guys, we're going to send it back over to the analysis desk to close out the discussion here on map number one. So let's get your thoughts on the map. Hey, thanks, guys. I do appreciate you. What an end to that matchup right there. 16-14, Showtime able to just come in there with that superb flank 
and drive it when uh, drive it home for them. They were on their way to overtime, most definitely. Yeah, uh, but that was a, that was a game with two halves, to put it that way. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's weird when it happens, right? Uh, but my God, what a, what a bit of what a change of pace from both sides, really. Both of them going from having all well, complexity in their end, having you know fantastic first half, and then following it up with an equally terrible second half as to. Luminosity's uh, first one. I was uh, a lot of back and forth and, uh, you know, very obvious mistakes as well made from both teams. Now, let, let's kind of hone in on the first half to start things off here. Uber, Surreal, and Depp really really driving this one home in the first half at 11-4 complexly close out first half. Yeah. And you think I, at that point it's just... At that point, I was super surprised because Luminosity played so sloppy, honestly. The, because we could see early on the first three buy rounds they had, they went with the same kind of strategy or initial setup for it, and it didn't really pan out because they were extremely slow to actually get up on bomb sites. The first time they execute towards B, it, like fair enough, Surreal gets a double kill. That happens. You can't really count for that. Next time they go back in, they smoke off higher. But Desi's gotten into a smart position close by the smoke, which again ends them with a double kill. But all of that comes off of the back of the fact that Luminosity are extremely slow to actually push onto the site and get a bomb plan in. And that just continued, well, throughout the first half. There it is. I mean, let's take a look now at a player in Uber who had a superb game here. Take a look at round number 11. 11. Yeah, 11. Uber kicks up this nice 4K here to really set things off for his team. Yeah, and this starts off again with Luminosity again having a good idea of what they want to do. Yell even gets the opening frag, and normally that should, you know, allow you to actually get a good execute and whatnot, but Uber just kind of goes full on, you know, gung-ho in this kind of a situation. Flashes himself even with a pop flash into Aemon, but manages to find two opening frags. So again, immediately destroys the, the execute that Luminosity had set up. He even follows that up with two more kills afterwards. And, uh, you know, a lot of the things in that kind of a manner where one player bails complexity out uh, for in a lot of these set executes from Luminosity was kind of what set the tone for the first half. No, absolutely. Uh not near, I mean, a, a strong start for complexity, right? Oh, I'm absolutely. pretty sure we were just trampling all over you guys. I'll personally apologize. <laughs> but coming into this one, Luminosity, clear favorites, but now being able to pull it out, you know, through a hair. Yeah, no, it was definitely closer than expected. And honestly, as you mentioned, after that first half, you kind of expected Luminosity to go down 0-1-1 uh, just immediately right off the bat. Um not, well, yeah, not really sure what, what to make of it. If it's, this is something that's going to transfer over to Overpass, and we're going to see a similar scenario. But you definitely want Luminosity, at least, to certain, like shore up their play when they actually commit to the executes. Well, what is there to say about Complexity's uh, tendency to just really only hit that mid or hit that A side of the site? Yeah. Uh, over there is T. Yeah, and, uh, that's, uh, you know... Uh, Again, it's the T halves that lack for both teams. And Dave's mentioned the fact uh, on the side of Luminosity, they were not that versatile in what they were doing, but Complexity took that to a whole nother level. They literally touched B once for the better part of that second half, and that was on an eco where you saw ended up being, you know, being barbecued for the better part of it. And other than that, they literally just relied on mid taking mid control in A. And that, that's fine if it's actually working for you, if you're getting some sort of results from it. But when you're constantly running into a wall and you're not really getting too close, actually getting rounds. You need to change things up, so you need to do something differently. Okay, well, to change things up after this break, we're going to see Complexity and Luminosity go head-to-head -head yet again over on Overpass, and we come back right back. Or, yeah, we're coming right back after this. Yeah. I can't understand 